Hello my beautiful chameleons, I hope you're all keeping well. We have a few things to talk about today, so I am going to Ooh, shift D on over to the side. Okay, so first up I'm talking about Shantakai, which is a brand that I don't often mention just purely because of how expensive their products are. I did want to give these a mention because the packaging is absolutely stunning and the little embossing in the blushes is beautiful. Um, so this is coming soon. Is there a date? There doesn't appear to be a date. Um, but there are, there's one eyeshadow quartet, um, which retails for 78 US dollars. Um, there's two blushes or three blushes. Two blushes. Two. I can't count. Um, they retail for 75 US dollars each. Um, then there are the Lip Chics. And I believe there are three of those. Um, yes. And they retail for 52 US dollars each. So I, I think it's a really high price tag. But... The packaging is absolutely stunning. I do love the detail that's gone into it. But yes, I wanted to give it a mention for any of you out there that you know maybe don't mind spending that bit extra. But yes, I'm gonna move on. Um, so Sephora have sneak peeked their new additions to the Sephora collection. So there's blushes, highlighters, and more. Also new packaging coming soon. Um, I love the look of the highlighter with the the imprints. I think it looks stunning. Um, I love the colour of that blush. I haven't tried anything from the Sephora collection yet. I, I do plan to at some point now that we have Sephora in the UK. Um, but yes, so I thought I'd give them a mention for all of you Sephora lovers out there. Okay, so more Lunar New Year releases so NARS have released a brush set for 95 US dollars there are four brushes in there I believe the packaging looks beautiful the the case to hold the brushes brushes look beautiful um they're also releasing or have released a light reflecting setting powder set and that retails for 42 US dollars and then Urban Decay have collabed with Robin Eisenberg um, with an eyeshadow quad palette um, and the All Nighter Setting Spray, obviously in the the packaging for the collab. Yeah, it does say here available in Canada coming soon to US. So I don't know if that's just the Urban Decay or both no idea let me know what you guys think i love the all-nighter setting spray do not love the smell at all but i love the spray and the little quad i think if you're more into your kind of rosy tones ready neutrals um yeah it's it's a cute little quad if that's your your colour scheme, if the, if those are the colours that you like. So yes, I am going to move on. So Flower Beauty, it does say in it's been spotted in stores. It's their new low light liquid contour. Um, it's got a built-in cushion applicator, soft matte finish. Um, the shades in the picture are medium and light. It's coming soon to their website and retailers. So if it's been spotted in stores and it's coming soon, I'm not quite sure then. Um, but yeah, I I love the the look of the product itself. The sponge applicators, like the cushion applicators, I'm not a fan of. Um, the P. Louise um, cream blushes, uh, the ones I've got, I've taken the cushion thing off. Um, because yeah I don't like them I don't like how clogged up they get but yeah I do like the look of these it does say retail for $14.49 that's US dollars so not a bad price tag I don't think for what it is do we say how much is in there oh hang on here we go on the back of it 14 mil 
okay so yeah not not a bad size at all for a contour yeah let me know what you think um the valentine's day collections are starting to spring up um and so the first one i have here to talk about is from she glam it is the love dive collection i love the look of this it is in particular is that the powder In particular, the one with the rose imprint in. Oh, they all seem to have that, don't they? Um, oh, marble package. Yeah, I think that must be the powder. It's the powder I'm super interested in. I do love the look of this collection. Blushes look beautiful. Yeah. I can definitely see me picking up something from this collection. Um, the powder I do have my eye on, that does look beautiful and there's a couple of the blushes that stand out to me. Yeah, I, I'm i a huge fan of the she Glam, she Glam makeup products, I tend to get on really well with them. The eyeshadows aren't too bad, they look pretty good, but the rest of their products, their face products and their lip products, I love. So yes. Okay, so the next mention is Maybelline. They have their new Tattoo Brow 36 Hour Brow Gel. So it's a semi-permanent brow gel. Leave your eyebrows looking naturally full for up to three days. Um, it's just three steps. What you do, simply apply the gel to the desired shape, leave to set and peel off with your fingers in five shades, available in Europe, coming soon to other countries. Um, I don't know how good this would be for me because underneath all of the brow makeup I have on, I, I don't have much, I, I hardly have any brows at all, if I'm honest. So I don't know how good this would be for me, but I did want to give it a mention for any of the rest of you out there that are interested in trying new brow products. And then... Elf have released new shades of their lip lacquer. So they've got Orange Blossom, Cherry Bomb, Whisper Pink and Black Cherry. So I'm guessing this is for Valentine's Day, looking at the, the shades. They look beautiful. Um, what's it say? A vit vitamin enriched lip gloss that delivers a sheer wash of colour and high austane shine. They re retail for three US dollars each. Yeah, these are these are cute. I'm generally not much of a gloss wearer. Sometimes I like to wear a gloss. Um and these do look beautiful. And um, yeah. Yeah, they do look beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. And then another sneak peek. So this is from Charlotte Tilbury and they are blushes with a matte finish. Um Say hello to Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand Liquid Blushes. Um, the middle one called Peach used last night at the Golden Globes on Jessica C. Interesting. Um, I'm saying interesting. I don't know who she is. So apologies. Um, so they're coming soon. Um, yeah, I, I do especially love the look of the shade in the middle. It does look beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. And then on to more lipstick releases. And these are from Fenty Beauty. So there's new shades. And they are in a red edition case. They're 20 US dollars each. Um, they are beautiful. So you've got Danger Dancer, which is a tomato red with warm orange tones. A frequent Flyer. A deep Bordeaux wine red. I, I do love the look of that one. And then Kissing Cutie, which is a bright strawberry red with a bluish undertone. Yeah, these do look beautiful. I do like the look of them. Um, the component itself, I like the look of. I'm trying to work out if that's one of them ones where you pop, like you press it down and it comes out. I have no idea um but yeah i do like the look of these if you've tried any of the lipsticks from this range 
um well not this particular range but the lipsticks themselves let me know what you think because i do like trying new lipsticks also i don't do it enough yes let's move on to okay so orion beauty um ariana grande's brand i can't speak um they have a new collection thank you next um it includes midnight shadows eyeshadow palette in thank you next at the borderline eyeline eyeliner marker in midnight black <laughs> dream lashes in eternally meowing with jewels um sold individually the utmost importance plumping lip gloss jumbo size available january the 18th on their website um i love the look of the lashes um none of the eyeshadow palettes have really appealed to me as yet and also i'm not the biggest fan of the little compacts like that style inside it if I'm honest, it kind of reminds me of the, the cheap little makeup palettes I used to pick up from Superdrug and the other cheaper stores when I was a lot younger. Um, but I do love the look of the, la the lashes with the gems on. They look absolutely stunning. Let me know what you guys think. And then what do we have next? Okay, I, I don't usually talk about non-makeup related products, but this does include some makeup products so <laughs> tom ford have a new collection available now there are cherry perfumes and <laughs> you've got cherry smoke which is warm woody spices electric cherry which is fruity fruity floral and there's also an eyeshadow quad um, a matte lip color and an ultra shine lip color now, I love the sound of the cherry smoke. I do love those more woody smells, um, like warm woody. They're just, uh, that's more my thing. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> the perfumes, they retail for 390 US dollars each for a 1.7 ounce or 240 US dollars for a one ounce um yeah whilst i love the the sound of these um the price is well out of my price range i don't know what i was expecting obviously i'm aware that tom ford is a more luxury high-end brand but yeah that's quite a price tag um the eyeshadow quad it kind of reminds me of charlotte tilbury quads a little bit that might just be me but yeah let me know what your thoughts are i'm gonna move on um to so cara beauty have their new planet collection it includes two eyeshadow palettes with 32 shades of velvety mattes and dazzling shimmer press powders so there is the stella starburst palette um which which one is the Stella Starburst palette? Okay, so there is the Stella Starburst palette featuring richly pigmented emerald greens, gorgeous golds, luxe taupes, deep navies and warm browns. So I'm guessing that is the one on the right in the picture of them both. That's the one that catches my eye. And then there's also Planetary Divine, um, and it says that one is filled with luscious golds and gorgeous fuchsias with sublime purples and hues of blue all richly pigmented. They retail for $18.99, that's US dollars each. I do love the look of the Stella Starburst, the one with all the greens. That does look beautiful. Um, the shadows in the middle, I'm, I'm guessing they're still eyeshadows. Or I suppose you could use them as toppers I don't know um but I know Erica Erica Conga who also has a channel here on YouTube I will link her below she also got me this beautiful necklace and earrings for Christmas Erica's channel will be linked in the description box below she loves Cara Beauty I don't know if she's planning on picking 
either of these palettes up but if she does I'm sure we will be seeing them soon so I don't know Erica are you picking one of these up I'm looking forward to finding out so let's move on to Bunky Beauty now this is their Sarah's Zodiac palette and there are 12 shades featuring chromatic and matte finishes coming the end of February I love the look of this I love the look of the shades in it I love how bright neon it's just I wouldn't say it necessarily matches the outer packaging but that can be forgiven because the outer packaging itself is absolutely stunning and then the colour story on the inside is also absolutely stunning. This is a brand I haven't tried yet. They are on my list of brands that I really want to try. And yeah, this palette looks absolutely stunning. Um, there's not a price as yet, so I will be keeping my eye out for that. Um, but yeah, I love the look in particular of the, the shimmers. They look stunning, absolutely stunning. So yes, let me know what you think and if you have tried anything from Bunky Beauty. I'd love to know what you think. So, the next release is from Be Bella Cosmetics. It is their Angelic Collection. There's a 16 pan eyeshadow palette, four blushes and four highlighters. And it's oh, all within the same palette. Look at the picture, Steph. That retails for 16 US dollars. Mm. An angel setting mist for seven US dollars. Kissed by an angel lip trio for 14 US dollars. And the angelic PR is 35 US dollars. So I'm guessing that's the, the box with everything in it. Yes. The box with everything in, 35 US dollars. I do love the look of this. This is a really beautiful kind of soft Valentine's look palette. I think it's more of it is more of your your softer, more romantic tones. So if that is the kind of look you want, judging by the shades in there, you could you could still go deeper with it. But yeah, I love the look of this. Let me know what you think. And next up, I wanted to mention this for more of you kind of cool tone neutral fans out there so this is the Paris Lynn company am I saying that right Paris Lynn collection sorry the Paris Lynn collection is this brand and they have their new sweetheart eyeshadow palette it's nine shade palette mattes shimmers and glitters coming soon um it looks to be that okay so it looks like it's three pressed glitters and two shimmers from what i can tell in the picture and then four four mattes um but yeah it is a, a very neutral palette not really up my alley but i know there are so many of you out there that love your neutrals and i thought i'd give this a mention because yes yeah, it's, it's a little different it's a little different. So we are now going to move on to Glisten Cosmetics, which is a UK indie brand. Um, I love them. And they have nine new Gliss Gloss shades. I've been dreading saying that and it came out fine. Um, so they've got Hello Hollow, Tangerine Dream, Licorice, Pinky Promise, Jewels, Purple Hill, Cherry Bomb, Mocha and Dreamcatcher. They retail for £12 British pounds each or 15 US dollars. And yeah, I, I do like the look of these. I like the look of the more purpley toned one. Yeah. But there's a really nice shade range. They look beautiful. Let me know if this is something you're planning on picking up. So... Moving on to MAC Cosmetics, we have more Valentine's lipstick releases. Um, yeah, there's a lot. Um, these are coming soon. So they're featuring Heart Adorned Lipsticks, Glow Play Balms and Prep and Prime. So not just, not just lipsticks. Um, 
it's the Valentine's Day 2023 lip collection there's some beautiful colours amongst them I'm actually wearing a MAC lipstick today I have it in front of me it is one of their powder kiss lipsticks it is pink and you'll miss it I find them really comfortable um, obviously I don't know I don't know what formula these ones are but they look beautiful let me know what you think um, ah a mention I did want to mention this because I have the original palette and I love it so Wicked Widow Beauty have re have recovered the original Scissor Hands palette has a new cover it's going to be formatted exactly like the Scissor Hands 2 palette it's going to be 45 US dollars um 16 square pans circle mirror black holographic lettering embossed cover and upgraded formula upgraded formula see i love the formula of my scissor hands palette wow um it is available for pre-order um and the pre-order will be about eight weeks the artwork is by the talented lady lovecraft yeah let me know what you think of the new packaging i love the packaging of mine i love the formula of mine so i don't know how i feel about this i do love this packaging but yeah i do love mine with edward scissor hands like the person on the front let me know what you think do you prefer this new cover or not so next is an update a sad one we have another indie brand closing down so this is hex baby beauty um the caption is says i hate to be admitting but i've been struggling with my physical and mental health it's with a heavy heart that i'm closing down for the unforeseen future i want you guys to know this is not permanent but i just really don't know when i'll be okay again i love your support i'll post stories to check on you guys I hope you'll stick with me. It's been put off for far too long and I was it all I want is time. I just hope for respect and support during this time. Um it is really sad. Um completely understandable. Um if the owner's having difficulties with mental health, physical health, um they're doing exactly the right thing for them. So yes, while it's sad, also it's not permanent. Yeah, I did want to bring that to your attention, let you guys know. So yes, very sad, but I really hope that I really hope that everything works out well for the owner of Hex Baby Beauty. And once they have returned, I will try their products. So next up, Adept Cosmetics have a new palette. The swatches look divine i'm yeah the one that looks like a watermelon i'm in love with um it looks absolutely gorgeous so this will be releasing on the 20th of january at 1 p.m et 12 p.m ct 11 a.m mt 10 a.m pt the palette will begin to ship on wednesday the 25th of january however if we can ship it to you earlier we will please note that it would it generally takes our team around two to ten business days to get everything out the door the price is 68 us dollars it is limited edition it is absolutely stunning absolutely stunning so it looks like there's 10 of the special shades and then five mattes you guys if you know me know that I'm looking at this and I'm in love. There are greens with purples and pink. I love it. It is stunning. I still haven't tried anything from Adept Cosmetics yet, but I will do at some point. Um, and then moving on to Blend Bunny. So Blend Bunny are sneak peeking their new palette and it is called Lure, I believe. 24 shades for the mermaid within and it looks like it's going to be amazing absolutely amazing um we have been given obviously the picture of the cover the the outer packaging and then there is a desaturated black and white photo 
of the palette. So obviously not giving away what any of the colours are as yet. I do love the the design she's done with the shimmery shades on the top. And then you've got the lights, the mediums, and then the darks. I do love how how she lays out her palettes, and I think it makes them extremely beginner friendly. Also, so yeah, I am super excited to see what the colour story of this palette is. I have the primal and I also have, what do I have? I have the Primal and the Surge. I have those two palettes. The names escape me then. Um, I adore them and yeah, super excited to see what this looks like. Are you guys excited? I know there's a lot of you out there that are fans of Blend Bunny also. So yeah, let me know what you think. And then we have more lip products. So these are Cherry Pick Lip Colour Butters from About Face and they retail for 15 US dollars each. They're available now. Yeah, very Valentine's Day colours. What more can I say? But I thought I'd let you know. So Trixie Cosmetics. Um, I have one palette from Trixie. Love the formula. So they have a new palette, Nighttime Realness Mini Palette, retailing for 30 US dollars. Love the colour story. I love some blues. There is the local Celeb Life Size Lashes. They look beautiful, retailing for 12 US dollars. TCTV Night Shift Long Sleeve Tea for 30 US dollars. And then a TCTV mug for 15 US dollars. So it's the Amazing Tasting Network Television with TCTV Merch. Okay, so yes, um, I think that's available now. It says Shop Friday 10 a.m. PT at Trixie Cosmetics. So yes, that's today as I'm filming this and as you're seeing this, fingers crossed. Um, so let's move on to, so Makeup by Kiwi have a new product and I'm watching a video here so I'm hoping I can get some screenshots that kind of capture how beautiful this multi-chrome is. Um, so it's, it's called Mystic. It's a new type of multi-chrome that meets your more pastel needs. Green, blue, pink and hints of silver. Perfect for one eyeshadow looks. Available 13th of January. It looks absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Makeup by Kiwi is another brand that... I need to try. I'm super interested in this one. Super interested. I do love me a multi-chrome. I love shifty shades and I I love pastel shifty shades. So yeah, right up my alley. Let me know what you think. And then I actually have now the inside, the full reveal of the Cosmic Bubbles palette from MBA Cosmetics. I am in love totally and utterly in love i have two palettes from them um cult of luna and chilling with my nomies i adore them they're amazing quality and oh this just looks amazing so there are three mattes one shimmer and four duo chromes retails for 32 us dollars it says release soon this is on my list i i am in love with this palette the packaging, the colour story, I already know I'm going to love the formula, so yeah, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Let me know what you guys think, and if you're going to be picking this up too, it's definitely a brand that I recommend for especially the quality of the Shifty Shades. Stunning. And then moving on to... It's Bell Cosmetics are uh, introducing their Fruity Realm All Matte Palette. Um, it is exactly what it says. It's bright and it's matte. Um, I really love the colour story. I love you've got your deeper, a couple of deeper shades that will deepen up any of the others. And I think it would be a really lovely companion palette because there are so many beautiful all duochrome, all shimmer, all multi-chrome palettes about so this would be a really good companion palette for for if you wanted mattes to go with your well, shimmer palettes i made that way too difficult um the launch date is january the 27th at 7 p.m est um 
only one pallet per order otherwise it will be refunded this is not a pre-order it will ship ship on our regular time frame unless otherwise announced the price is 18 us dollars plus you can use code thank you 10 or affiliate codes for this um it says unfortunately for this launch we won't have a bundle available with the fruity realm loose pigments we are working to make it possible soon swatches are done on dry skin no primer um the swatches look really really good um i do love the colors that they've picked like i said i love that they've got the shades to deepen to deepen it up um yeah i haven't tried anything from it spell cosmetics again yet they're another brand on my list uh, i will get round to there's just so many and only one me um but yeah i will get round to them at some point i do love the look of this let me know what you think so next up is a new collection from P. Louise and this is a huge palette, a huge palette. Um, there are some other products as well. Um, it's all available now. It is a very rosy toned romantic palette. Not really my colour story. I do have quite a few P. Louise palettes. I adore them. It's got nothing to do with the quality. Um, not really my colour story. Let's just leave it there. Um, but yeah, I do love P. Louise products and I'm super excited to see a new collection. I'm loving that they're doing the flat palettes um, rather than more with the really bulky packaging. I don't, personally, I don't mind the bulky packaging. I do wish they... Do I... I don't know I do I love them they are difficult to store they take up a lot of room but I don't mind um, but I do like to see that they are doing more flat palettes um, they've listened to feedback clearly yeah it's a cute collection love the look of it and then next up is Mica Beauty Shop um, which is a French indie brand um, they're coming out with seven new shades of their hand pressed eyeshadow collection um they are high-end quality super sparkly and multi-chrome they've changed the formula um when they've made a new stock for the old shades they're going to change the formula for them too they swatch super buttery and smooth pigmented and intense they're launching 15th of january and they retail for 1350 euros each these look beautiful yeah, I'm actually really intrigued by the one at the bottom in the middle and the one on the top right. Obviously the green ones also, but they look very interesting and a bit different. So yeah, I still haven't tried anything from Micro Beauty Shop or Micro Beauty Shop. I'm not 100% sure how you say that. I really hope I'm saying that right. Um, but another brand on my list that I really want to try. And these look stunning. Absolutely stunning. So yes, let me know what you think. And if you've tried anything from them. And then Unearthly Cosmetics have a... What is this? A collector's item. Um, it is a mirror. Um, this will be available on the 13th of January today as i'm filming and you're watching um it retails for 30 us dollars it does say it is a collector's item um i do not think we will be bringing this baby back i think it looks beautiful i have a good few mirrors i don't need any more but this does look beautiful and it, by the looks of it, it says it weighs 1.37 pounds so qu quite a weighty one yeah let me know what you guys think and then the last the last thing i have to talk about today is from spellbound beauty and the heart killer palette is available now um a beautiful i say beautiful the color story is beautiful the artwork is beautiful um but obviously it's uh heart killer i love the artwork I do I love the artwork I think it's brilliant because you've got the heart like the the organ the heart 
organ in the picture. Um, yeah, I I love this. I do have a palette from Spellbound Beauty. Um, yeah, this is this is pretty. The packaging in particular, I I'm in love with. I just I think it looks awesome. That artwork is awesome. But yes, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys are interested in picking up. If you've seen anything in today's new releases that you like, don't like, already have. Let's have a chat in the comment section below. As always, if you spot anything throughout the week that you would like me to talk about, please do either tag me or drop me a DM on Insta. Let me know and I'll do my best to include it. The look I have on today I didn't film, like I think I said last week. Um, I'm going through my palette collection, retrying ones that I don't remember if I like or not. And today I have on the Beauty Crop Pina Colada palette. Um, very, very shiny <laughs> um, packaging. Um, but this is the colour story. So yes, this is what I have on my eyes today, just in case you were interested. Um, but yeah. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Again, if there's anything you want me to talk about next week, please do let me know. And thank you for spending this time with me. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Yeah. Stepping in the spot like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it off like a gunplay. Oh my. Yeah, talk of the city with the party. Always getting praised like it's Sunday. She said, Baby, what you gonna do?